Hey guys, and welcome to back to another lip balm review. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about this one. I told you the second I got my hands on it, I would do a review. And here we are. This is the Tropical Mango Eos. This just came out. It was supposedly Walmart exclusive. I'm not sure if it still is. I bought it from the website, from Eos directly. Uh, they only just listed it like this past week or so. So just saying, it was very, very, very newly recently listed. And they ship fast when they ship. So I mean, I get them props for that. And their shipping rates have gotten a lot more affordable than they used to be. They used to be freaking stupid price. That's why I didn't used to like to buy from them directly. They've gotten better about it over time. So now I have no issue buying from them directly. They just usually take a while to actually get stuff available on their site, especially when it's, like, exclusive to a certain store. Do I have mascara? No, I don't. Um, but yeah, it usually takes them a while to get those up, but they finally did, so I got a hold of it, and now we can do the thing, so. Anything particularly interesting on the cover of this? Well, I mean, let's appreciate the artwork first before I tear into this and just have it gone. I think it's very cute and very pretty. Ah, lasting hydration lip care, 100% natural, organic oils and shea butter. Okay, on the older EOS, it would say like 100% natural, 95% organic. I noticed that it no longer has the 95%, so just throwing that out there. Let's see here. Crafted with hydrating organic oils, nourishing shea butter, and rich mango extracts to deeply moisturize dry lips with natural goodness, this super soft lip balm with notes of warm coconut and fresh mango, oh boy, uh, will keep your lips soft and smooth all day. All right, let's look at the ingredients. Am I going to have a problem with this one? I might, because the coconut. We've got sunflower seed oil, beeswax, coconut oil. Well, coconut oil is okay with me. It's the coconut fruit that I have issues with. Carnauba wax, jojoba seed oil, flavor, aroma, shea butter, mango fruit extract, olive fruit oil, tocopherol, stevia leaf stem extract, beta cytosterol, squalane, benzyl benzoate, limonene, linalool, and organic component of flavor. Interesting. Well, it doesn't say coconut fruit, so I may be okay with this. So, the little thingies to the side, I think, are the same as usual. Certified organic and 100% natural. Contains sustainably sourced ingredients. Dermatologist tested. Hypoallergenic. Paraben and petrochemical free. Gluten free and not tested on animals. And it's got the USDA organic stamp on it. So, there you go. So, we're gonna go ahead and pop this open. It just cracks me up that... What was it, a couple of years ago, I had that streak of like an entire summer of basically all mango flavored lip balms that I reviewed, and now here we are, first day of summer, freaking mango. I'm like, what the hell? That was not intentional, but just worked out that way. So am I crazy, or is this the same shade of orange that Medicated Tangerine used to be. I feel like it is. I would have to go dig one out of my collection and just compare, but it better smell different, otherwise I'll be like, I see what you did! Ooh! Oh, that's nice. But what is up with the side of it? I think it may have just- oh, it hit the side in there. Alright, we're fine. So I was like, why is the side funky on it? I don't think it's even picking up really, but yeah, okay. I think the edge of the cap just gouged into it a little bit when I took the lid off. I think we are okay. I just, I always worry now with organic lip balms. I'm like, please don't let there be any spoilage or I will be so freaking upset. But yeah, no, I think that's just from where... It hit the side. My hands are very freshly washed, so I have no issues doing that. Okay, we're going to talk about the scent when we get to that part of the review, but I am a creature of habit. We go through things in order here. So, that's the format. It is a dome-type lip balm. This is the packaging. 
basic. It's a basic EOS lip balm. Nothing too special about that, other than just it's new. Uh, we covered that it's natural and organic. I don't think this one's limited edition. I think this one's permanent line, at least currently. We just did a video here about all the ones that were retired recently, so I mean... Who knows how long any of them are truly permanent in this brand, since ones we thought were safe are suddenly gone with no warning, so throwing that out there. But I think for now, anyway, this one, it's not listed as limited edition anywhere on the packaging, so I don't think it is. Amount of product is a quarter of an ounce, which is standard for an EOS. Uh, shelf life is not listed on it anywhere, I don't think. I was kind of subtly looking for it, and I'm not seeing anywhere. I'm even looking for, like, indented printing on here, and, yeah, it does not seem to have it anywhere. That's fine. Uh, just, yeah, we already covered in another video years ago how to tell if Neos went bad, so go review that video if need be. Uh, price point on this, I think, was it's either $3.50 or $3.99. I want to say it was $3.99, but yeah, so not terrible. It's, like I said, it's a standard EOS amount for those of you who've not bought EOS yet, which I kind of doubt there's many of you on this channel, but I'm sure there's some. Uh, that is standard for just a regular plain EOS, the ones that have other special things like the shimmers or the crystals or the medicated ones. Those tend to cost a bit more. So, sturdiness-wise, it is the same rubberized plastic they always use, so it is a little bit prone to scratches and dings and things, but I mean, the actual lock mechanism is very good on it, so no complaints there. So, no special features like SPF for medication, so let's talk about that scent that is so lovely. That is a very, very, very authentic mango scent. I like that a lot. It's almost got like a little hint of peachiness to it, but it's mostly mango-y, which it should be, being tropical mango and all. I'm not picking up on coconut in here, like, at all, so I don't know what crack they're smoking on the packaging. But yeah, that just, it smells heavenly good, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. Ooh, and it's nice and soft, straight out of the thing. They have improved that. Because remember, they used to be super waxy and hard when you would first get them, and you'd have to, like, rub them a ton just to get them going. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be a thing anymore with you, so I do appreciate that change they've made. I just like having a lot on. Okay. Ooh, it does have a tiny bit of flavor. Not a lot, just a little hint of it. And that is definitely mango. Ooh, that is nice. I like that. That is good. Oh my goodness. If you are a fan of mango, you are in for a treat, guys. I know, you, you probably think I'm nuts getting this excited over a friggin' Eos, but honestly, it is very, very nice. If you see this, grab it. It's worth it. Unless you don't like mango, in which case, avoid it like the plague, because it's a very authentic mango scent and flavor. So... What does it feel like? What is its consistency? What is its thickness? Well, the thickness on this, it, it's pretty thin, and you watch me go back and forth quite a few times, and it's still really thin. I don't think caking it on is going to make any difference with this one. I think that's just the consistency that this is, and that is okay. Hang on, I have to sneeze. I'm so sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe? Oh, come on. Maybe not. Freaking peekaboo sneezes, I swear they make me nuts where it's like, I got to, I got to, nope, yeah, nope, nope. They make me insane. They happen all the time. But anyway, um, but yeah, it's really thin, but what is there? It is creamy. It is, um, like the good type of greasy, um... It feels moisturizing, it feels just generally nice, I have no complaints with how it feels other than it'd be nice if it were a little bit thicker, just had a little bit of body to it, but I mean, it's not a deal breaker for me. 
Uh, it's just a personal preference thing. Some of you guys like your lip balms thinner, and for you, this is going to be wonderful. Because it's a very lightweight lip balm. Um, it doesn't feel tacky or sticky. Actually, let's test this. Oh, I shouldn't do this with nice clean hair, but... Well, apparently it's at least a little sticky. Why did I do that? I literally just washed it earlier. Well, that is a thing. <sighs> At least my hair will smell like mango, I guess. <laughs> Till I wash it again, but it is what it is. So I guess even though it doesn't feel tacky, I guess it just it does have a little teeny tiny bit of it that is sticky enough to get your hair stuck in it if the wind blows. So just throwing that out there as a PSA that apparently that is a thing. Um, let me think. It does have shine to it, as you can see, which I think is nice. Some of you guys may find that a deal breaker, but I like the shine, so for me that's always nice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the drink test. I swear, I cannot get enough water lately, guys. I don't even know what's up with me. Like, who am I? I don't even like water that much generally, though it's just playing him. Yet, I've been chugging glass after glass after glass after glass. I'm like, who are you? And what did you do with me? I don't know. Maybe I'm suddenly diabetic. That would suck. Hope not, anyway. I doubt it, but maybe. Who knows? But, um... It's probably just that it's been warm out and I need it. <laughs> so I'm just heating my body's needs and just drinking a butt ton of water. But anyway, um, yeah, it's still put. Even though there's a little greasy spot on the rim of the glass. You can see it. Eh, probably not. Um, well, you'll have to take my word for it. There is, but still 100% intact, even as thin as it is. So that is a plus. I'm going to go ahead and give this the wow factor, too. I like just about every single thing about this. So, did I have any issues? Let me look at my checklist real quick. Um, even with it being thinner, like I said, it's not deal breaker on this one, so I'm not even going to count a point against it there. Um... Yeah, I don't think I have any issues. I think this little guy, it's been a while, but he's getting a perfect 10. Just saying, I don't give those out very freaking often, but this one just earned it, so just saying. So anyway, guys, that's about all I have to say for this one. So as usual, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Leave comments down below. Have you guys found this one yet? If so, what are your thoughts? Let me know, as well as anything else you feel like leaving me. Uh, make sure you're following my social media accounts. They're all listed down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. So anyway, guys, until next time, bye-bye.